in space, everything has uh, no gravity. So you develop, say, a tissue like a kidney, your science classes, or liver tissue, and then you can test different vaccines or metabolites, drugs, on that tissue in space much more easily than here at home. Because here at home, when you test those cells, they're flat. But they grow in space 3D because there's no gravity. What are some of the experiments that in astrophysics that NASA is doing right now? What are some of the experiments in astrophysics? The, the, astrophysics is, of course, extremely broad. Hubble is the most known of all our uh, space telescopes. But right now, I would say some of the most exciting research is coming from Kepler. Kepler uh, was launched just two years ago. The main thing we are doing is looking for other planets revolving around other stars. We call them fresh outs uh, and put you through the paces at NASA. I didn't come to NASA until I was 35, though, so you can have uh, other careers and come back. I came after grad school. That's a good question. Okay, so um, we have flown just over 400 people in space. Total, total. Um, astronauts and cosmonauts. Uh, there's more astronauts than anyone else. Right now we have about 70 active astronauts in the astronaut corps. So they're not all famous like John Glenn and James Webb, who is not an astronaut. But um, yes, over 400 people. Nearly 500 have flown in space. The president say we're going next. Where's, where's NASA going next? Uh, I, I feel bad I'm not hitting any more hard. On the end, right there as an engineer, or as I did, more on the political science side. Science. Kids who have dedicated themselves to science. 25, and so NASA is developing this rocket, the Space Launch System. Actually, uh, a star, 3.9 billion 